Welcome to another edition of the WCL Fantasy Football League. This is week seven edition of the show. And uh, first of all, we're just going to start off last week. We can just recap it a little bit. Some of the matchups that, that happened. <laughs> you looking at me. Got the funny, man. What, what, what's going on, man? I'm just listening. I'm just listening. Well, look. A lot of times when we come on the show, like last week, we invited a pimp named Joe to the show because he had won the points, you know, the week before in the great Monday night comeback to beat Kill Everything. He came up here, he introduced himself, he did his thing, you know, uh, shouts out to a pimp named great Joe. Pimp. And, and, and every week, you know, the, the point winner is invited to do the show. Well, this week, there are no invitations necessary <laughs> because Monday night, I was able to knock Pimp Nature, and I wanted to knock him off so bad because I didn't want him to win two times in the world. Not, right. not that we don't like you. You know, we, we enjoyed you coming through. Me. You come through, but man, it, it wasn't finna be like that. So I knocked him off. Yeah, he was talking shit back like before he even won. He was talking shit earlier that day, you know what I mean? So. Exactly. So he got knocked off. Yeah. You know, and I took home the pot. So congrats to myself with the 206 that I put. And my defense did negative two. You know, I had to drop the E guys. You know, I took some sound advice from another guy who's pretty, playing pretty well in this league, and I, I went on ahead and dropped those guys. But uh, also last week, we had a couple matchups. We had She <laughs> going against. Uh, I love Puddle. And uh, first of all, and, and, and it, 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 it is my fault, gentlemen. I got so caught up. And me winning the point this week that I forgot to hit. Nobody knows who y'all are, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm the champion, the, the defending champion, OneManK.com. To my left, I have I the huge baby. And to my right, I have Lemonator. the Lemonator. Okay, now back to she. <laughs> and I love my partner. Yeah, he got me. Not Tom Brady put up filthy. Yeah, that's right. And I took an L. Tom Brady put up 50 and I took it. Yeah, I hate that. I really, really, really hate that. Yeah, so he don't know when he's gonna get that fifth again out of Brady. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So he really would have been real nice for him, man. But could have got a W with that fifth, man. Thanks to my defense, the number one defense, we thought they gave him 12 points. Let me down big time. Yep. yep. Underachieved. Yep. A couple underachievers, so you know, that's, that's the way to. Uh, Ball roll, that's the way the ball rolls. Okay, you can't do anything about it. Exactly, and the Lemonators knocked off the Perkins last week, who started off 3 and 0, now he's 3 and 3. 3 and 3. You know, it, it can happen like it that. It's familiar, though. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, it's the same thing that, you know, is continuing to happen year after year. But with that being said, let's jump on right to this thing. This week, the Lemonators have I Love Butter Beans, and now this is going to be. Quite the matchup, but I, mean, I see you asserted Eric Decker, who's gonna be playing in tonight's Thursday night football game yeah, between know. the Patriots and the Jets. <coughs> you decided to go with Decker over who? Who you decided to go over? Over James Jones. Over James Jones. Well, did the projections change any? Well, it don't matter. I mean, we won't have the fourth quarter come down. I mean, we won't change the way. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> you should have that fourth quarter call. I mean, but Decker, I believe Decker's gonna give me at least twenty tonight. Now I mean, so. Versus James Jones, thirteen. So I did, you know, I feel now, good. Now you, you, you been in the number one spot for a couple weeks, and she put up enough points to knock you down to fifth. Yeah. And in the situation of our little butter beans, right now he's second in the division, and a loss can send him as far as down as third in the division and eleventh in the league. So this is a very important matchup. I would say more for him than 11, yourself. Eleven he but go. Eleven he go. Do you know what you can do to this man this week? Eleven he go. <laughs> That's all you gotta do, man. Yeah. Line him up. He go. He go. To the, him up. He go to the eleven spot this week. You gonna find something out tonight. Man. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, I'm just looking at the matchups, and of course, like we said, you got Eric Devin going tonight. Um, also. When you talk about the quarterback matchup, you got Tom Brady going tonight against the Jets. So we will learn a little bit something tonight. But looking at the remainder of the matchups that I'm just looking at, I mean, that's a lot of question marks coming from the side of I love Butterbean. We're talking about Kevin Benjamin, who hasn't practiced. He has a concussion. We don't know what he's going to do this week. Uh, Owen Daniels hasn't done anything since 
you put him in the lineup. Drake Bell, can he stay concussed free? I mean, there's a lot of question marks on that side of the ball, and you don't have a kicker. Where over this side, it, it looks pretty solid. I have a kicker. Your side looks pretty solid. Does this give you more confidence going this get no, does this give you less confidence going to the week? Not at all. <clears throat> because I have players, good players, quality players that I can plug in. Uh if Kevin Benjamin happens to go down. Somebody like Odell Beckham. Ahmad Bradshaw, you know, guys like this who I can plug in. Yep. Anything happens. And I got till Sunday to make up my mind. I've been, but I've been um, saying that for the last few weeks, man. Anything happens. As far as Owen Daniels go, that's kill everybody. We got it now. Exactly. Uh, I think he, he Well, speaking of kill everything, since you mentioned it. Yeah. He got one of, of the more intriguing matchups this week because he's a four and two, and we know that kill everything. Whether he's he's either projected to put up big numbers, or he actually put up those big numbers. If he had the last two weeks, he put up big numbers. Right. And this week, he has put it in my pocket, who's second in the league we'll at five match. and one. Now we'll this is gonna up. be a good match, even though kill everything is projected to win by 25, 26 points in this matchup. We know that when you're talking about Andrew Luck, Alshon Jeffrey, Jason Witten, Martez Bennett, these guys are gonna show up just about week in, week out. Right. Looking at the matchups, as, as, as I'm looking at the matchups now, Brandon Tate, uh, Oliver, Brandon Oliver playing for Kill Everything. Right. Is his look is his look due to run out? I mean what? he he put up one ninety nine last week, one ninety eight the week before that. I mean, is his luck due? To run out when you missing guys like AJ Green out your lineup and you have to replace them. Well, even though Brandon Oliver has been a good pickup thus far in the one week, will this be a continued trend to where we can say this man is rolling? Uh, it's possible he could start rolling, or you know he could hit that bump. It's tough to say, man, but I'm sure he's got he's tough man. He'll be two good. points away from two hundred two weeks straight and, and off the pack. Well, we look at what he got going tonight. He got Shane Ring going against the New York Jets, who New England running backs are hit or miss. You never know what you, it might be his night, it might be Bolden night, it might be James White night. Yeah, and people be all in the way why I'm picking up James White for nothing. I already got Bolden. Uh, you got Run, Grant, he got Gronkowski out there tonight. Right. Uh, and he also has New England kicker. This could be a make them or break them night for a kill everything based upon how well New England plays against the Jets. Right. So put it on the good thing about it is regardless of how it goes, you still got some heavy hitters on this. Or put him in my pocket trying to put him in his pocket match this week. If you look at his squad, he's got a chance. Yeah, yeah, he got, got a chance. Squad, I don't know how he that off. Yeah. yeah. Considering what's on the bench, <laughs> and, and when you talk about a bench, nobody has no more about a bench than you. We <laughs> we've already discussed. Wait, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna run down the run down the lineup, and you when when it's not way why we just say they're not way why. Andy Dalton, Sammy Watkins, the best player. Just trade Lamar Miller and Abron to. The person that they're playing this week, which She's is playing the, with. the underdogs, which I, I don't I don't get it. But trading get Lamar that. Miller and Ebron for Donald, Larry Donald up in New York, the tight end, and also James Stewart who will be coming back and stuff. But underdog just picked them up out the way of while. Uh Golden Tate, Justin Hunter, Andre Holmes, Washington's defense. I mean, this sounds like just a, a squad full of waiver, but they're four and two, and they played the underdogs this week, who was zero and six. Now, before I go deeper into the matchup, there was a discrepancy that the underdog brought to me this week about his kicker, and I had to go do an investigation on how his kicker left his team. Well, apparently on October seventh, the underdog dropped their kicker for the kicker of the Arizona Cardinals, and then on October tenth. Drop that kicker for uh, 
Brown up in New York. So that's how that transaction all happened. Based upon the either, transaction. Either he never dropped it. I mean, guy. yeah. Based upon, I'm telling you, I went and did the investigation. Whether it was him himself or somebody put the mask on and jumped in this place, this is what happened, you know, as far as as far as that goes. So I just want to clear that up. But I think the underdogs get off the snot this week. I hope so. I hope you do. I mean, I'm just saying, we just, well, I just told you what beautiful he is. Look at his squad and look at beautiful squad. He's, he's supposed to come out. He's supposed to come out tonight this week. He's supposed to come out. He's supposed to come, out, to come out tonight this week. Exactly. Yeah. And I was just looking at it. I think there will be one 16 team that makes the playoffs in this league. I mean, this league is tough. A lot of guys are going to start knocking each other off. And there may be room for a team that wins six games to get in this thing. So, the season is not over with for anybody. You just got to keep plugging away. It's going to be tough. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And it's going to be tough for a team like Philly House, who, you know, we've already discussed his pedigree and all that. We're not going to keep getting into that. But Gordon team and the Philly House, this is a make them break them week for both of these teams. You're talking about a 1 and 5 Philly House going against a 2 and 4 Gordon team. Now, I've been in contact with Phil Howell this week, and so have you. Yeah. And he told me the same thing he told you. His team is on life support. Phil <laughs> 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 Howell hit me up, and we're gonna put something together, man. And we're gonna put it together. <laughs> man, I'm gonna get you right, boy. Hit me last night. Hey, man. you know, the trade that you and him made, it really hasn't worked out for him at all. CJ Spiller has done nothing. Cordero Patterson has done nothing. And Marshawn Lynch, even though I expect him to bounce back with a big game, to since the trade, he has done nothing. So he's got nothing out that deal. Tough. Tough. You damn the guy to win the pot. <laughs> to knock off the head buzzer. He actually won the pot a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is a matchup that I'm concerned about. I will say that. 2 and 4, I need to go on the winning streak. I can win this week, and I love butter beans and the Perkins can, can lose, and I can be in fourth place. I can be in the playoff picture. But anytime you have to face Aaron Rodgers, and Randall Cobb yeah, Randall at the Cobb. top of the lineup. That's a concern for me. And this week they got Carolina. I don't know if Carolina defense is gonna be able to hold Aaron Rodgers and Randall Cobb just to some 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 numbers that I can deal with. Yeah. You know I can't deal with the 30, the 40 <clears throat> out of both players. It's yeah. just something I can't deal with. Yeah. Terrence Williams against the Giants is another matchup that I like that he has. And Ruben Randall with Big Crowd. Well, but New York Giants offense has been so dismal. I mean, it's been inconsistent. I'm not really worried about Ruben Randall, but I know that if the Giants do light it up against Dallas, Ruben Randall is going to be part of the equation. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm not really worried about his tight end against Seattle. And tonight he has Brandon LaFell going against the Jets. I'm going to know a little bit something tonight about whether or not, because if Brandon LaFell goes off, this is a small piece. In my mind, this is a wave of wide piece. If a wave of wide piece goes off and get 30 40, I'm in trouble. Yeah. But other than that, I, I still like my team. I still like what I got going. I told guys last week if Emmanuel Sanders, T.Y. Hilton, and Fitzgerald was going to go the whole season and not get a touchdown along with my tight end, then I was going to lose. And if Cincinnati was going to give up 40 a week, I was going to lose. Now, Cincinnati is giving up 40 a week. So I had to drop him, and that's just how fantasy goes. Well, good decision, though. Good, good decision, decision though. Man. Good decision making. Yeah. Well, we're about to get ready to watch this Thursday night football game against the New England Patriots and the Jets, yeah. and there is a lot at stake tonight. Yeah. A lot. A lot at stake. A lot. We, we can know early, just like last week Thursday night. We knew early yeah. some teams' fate already going into Sunday. Yeah. It's the same situation here. I'm ready to go. I ain't got nobody tonight, but I'm ready to see LaFell fall. I know you ready. You got well, talk right. I got right. two players. Hey, man, I hope they bust him. Hope I have to drop Seattle defense in a minute, man. You see, Carolina defense on the way to Y. Yeah. Cincinnati defense on the way to Y. Yeah. You know, we just want to see Seattle out there, man. You know what I mean? Well, Wayne see Seattle on the way to Y, man. That ain't gonna happen. Two more weeks. Two more weeks like last week, I believe they'll be out there. Well, they'll be sitting on the bench, bro. I will bench. Two more weeks like last week. Can't get missed. Yeah, man. Yeah. Even one more week like last they, week. They for trade. Yeah. They, well, it's hard to trade the defense that's giving up a lot of points. Somebody but Seattle is a strong them. defense. They got some yeah. gravy coming you, you, up. You, they just got to get hungry again. Yeah. And once they get hungry, then they can get back. 
back on the saddle. Just like I had to realize. As a defending champion, you always have to stay hungry. You have to be even more hungry than you were the year before. When I realized that, and we can make something happen. Especially when you're two and four. Especially when you're two and four. So, you know, I love butter beans once again. It's been a pleasure. Same here, bro. Eliminators, good to have you back in the house. Even though you ain't won nothing. But, <laughs> but you, you do good. Just win the game. You win the game. That's it. You win the game. Yeah. And I am your defending champion, one man cave.com. You can find the WCL Fantasy Football League show on one man cave.com. Till next time, hey, this is the best place to be for fantasy football. For sure. Be easy, man. Yeah.